to crawl the community gallery in the featured tab and be able to find out which are the courses that are not gamified yet and then turn on the gamification so in this case this is a non-gamified course it automatically goes to edit and then go on and click on the icon for gamification turn on the the, the button to come off and then save and then exit and then exit the course editor then it continues to scroll through the various tab because that is how the SLS is currently constructed it only allows 20 lessons to be viewed at the same time so it needs to manually either you do it manually or you use a RPA tool to automatically increment the next table in order to crawl the data so now it reaches a new table and then it found another course that has not been gamified it will continue to go inside and then turn on the, the tab automatically by itself and then it will save and exit and then it will crawl again so this is what the, the code does so you just need to come here and change the start number and the crawling number of lessons to crawl it will automatically iterate through the start number to the number of lessons to be crawled and then it will click on the approve link it will read the data from from the lesson or course then i ask it to echo the row counter as well as the type of either lesson or course so if the type of the lesson or course is equal to course then it will check the xp which is the whether this icon of the gamification exists on the table if it then we assign another variable called xp2 which is the xp concatenate the rest of the data at the back to identify the name of the icon that's being used which is the svg and the name is game24 then if the presence of xp2 is true then it will echo out this and and then the gamification is found and it will do nothing else it will continue to click on the various URL and did it then it will wait a while because the internet could be slow and then that could cause it to break so you need to add a certain wait time for it to to be more reliable so you click on the edit the, the menu for the three dots then it will click on the gamification tab it will toggle the, the on off switch which is the on switch in this case then you'll click on the buttons to, to save it and then to close it and then you'll continue to click on the three dot again to exit from the exit from the course editor okay then this is where i do a i a j loop from one to the table counter table counter is the is the value at the bottom and then you click on the, the next the arrow forward if, if it's if it is required lah. okay and then you'll do a series of clever uh, row counter equal to 21 because each page has 20 elements of which then when it reaches the 21 it will do a kind of a reset and then you will it will change the the row counter back to one and then all that so in 130 lines you can do all this automation rather easily